Hello and welcome back to the Diderio Education Collective. My name is Klaus Hessler and this time we'll be talking about Accents and Rebounds, another famous classic book written by George Lawrence Stone, again, which uh, was designed to be the follow-up for Stick Control. And uh, actually I, I even like it more than Stick Control, which is only my personal problem and should not be yours. So we'll be looking at, um, at page four of, uh, of the book, which is actually... Um, the first page of music in the book, and a couple of variations that um, uh, that will be uh, that will make use of extra flams on each of the accents. In exercise number one, you need to be aware that the, that in the third measure, uh, the count of two and de actually should be an upstroke, um, and uh, and that is kind of important if you really want to make sure that that you can play the exercise fluently. So here's exercise number one for you. On exercise number three, it's also important to keep track of the of a changed order of full up and down strokes. And uh, first thing which is important is uh, watch out for the count of two E in the third measure because that is now a down stroke, which used to be a full stroke in the two bars before. So that's a very important strategic turning point in the exercise when you're adding flams. And also in the fourth measure, make sure on the count of one E you have a down stroke again and on the 2E a full stroke again. So uh, here's exercise number three for you. On exercise number four, which has the basic structure of a, a single paradiddle, uh, again watch out for changed order of full up down strokes. Again in the third measure, count of two E should be a down stroke. Um, in the fourth measure, count of one E should be a down stroke. And um, the, uh, again in the fourth measure, a full stroke on the count of two E. So here's exercise number five for you. On exercise number nine, which is the next one, that, uh, that has the basic structure of four notes in each hand, right, 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 left, 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 left. And again, when you're adding flams, it's really kind of important that, uh, that on, the, on the grace note that, uh, uh, that is played right before, say, um, the count of 2E in the first measure, that grace note really is an upstroke. So if you don't watch out for that, you'll be having trouble when you're, when you're trying to play the next flam. So, uh, so watch out for that position. So it's, it's like the 2E in the first bar, um, and also the 2E in the second bar, and whenever that phrase comes along. So, um, so here's exercise number nine for you, and watch out for that grace note, okay? As we end this, here's exercise number 12, 
which has the basic structure of only left hand. And uh, again, when adding flams, the, 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 the right hand is taking care of all the grace notes uh, that are played in that pattern now. So, I mean, conceptually, it's, it's kind of easy because, because you don't have to think too much about what you're doing. It's kind of technically demanding because there's a lot of work for your left hand. So, uh, good luck with exercise number 12. Now, in closing, let me still add that on all of the exercises that I performed for you, actually, I was using the informal molar-based uh, movement, which uh, I'm sure you noticed. And, uh, well, other than that, keep your eyes uh, on accents and rebounds, because I think that's really a, a killer book, and uh, it, it just gives you so much more technical flexibility and... Uh, well, it's actually one of my favorite books, okay? So, I hope you like these concepts. Uh, stay tuned and watch out for more stuff coming up on the Daria Education channel. Um, Klaus Hessler again. Check out my website, www.klaushessler.com or connect with me through Instagram or Facebook. And, uh, yeah, let's create some more waves, okay? Thank you so much. Bye-bye.